Garmin's latest product for your car's dashboard is packing GPS, but it's not a newbie and it's no navigator. I'm Antoine Goodwin. Let's take a look at the Garmin Dashcam 20. Now, the Dashcam 20 is a dashboard camera or a dashboard DVR. It's basically a little black box that suction cups to your windshield. On the front of it, there's a small HD camera that can record at 1080p, 720p, or as low down as VGA. On the back, we've got an LCD screen that you can use for framing your shots and for uh, looking at the video that the dash cam records after the fact. On the side, we've got a small port for the included uh, USB to 12 volt power cable that you use to power this thing while you're driving. There is a battery pack in here, so you can use it without it being plugged up if you don't want to drape cables over your dashboard. And on the other side, we've got our power button and the slot for the included 4 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, this thing can actually uh, accept up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card if you want um, more space for recordings. What are you recording? Well, basically what this thing does is it sticks on the front of your uh, windshield and it uh, records a video of what's happening out in front of your car. It's also recording audio of what's happening in your car, but you can turn that off if you don't want it capturing all of your singing and stuff. When you're driving along, what it's doing is it's taking a continuous loop of uh, as much video as it can save on its SD card, and a G sensor in this thing is actually uh, looking out for any sort of strong shocks or vibrations. If you hit something like a pothole or another car, the G sensor detects that accident and it captures a couple of seconds leading up to the shock and a couple of seconds following, hopefully capturing the accident uh, within that footage. The dash cam 20 also has a built-in GPS receiver, so it knows your latitude and longitude, and it can store your speed, uh, the direction that you're traveling, and the date and time. It includes that at the bottom of the video. Now, that video is stored on the card in a .avi format that you can retrieve either by removing the SD card later or just plugging it into your computer. If you've actually been in an accident, you can remove the dash cam 20 from your windshield and use it to snap still photos of any damage or the scene that you can use to recall later. Now the dash cam 20 is going to retail for $249. There's also a dash cam 10 that slots in below it that loses the GPS sensor and the ability to track your speed, direction, latitude, and longitude. That's going to be $219. This is probably the one you're going to want to get. It's only $30 bucks more. I'm Antoine Goodwin, and this has been a CNET first look at the Garmin Dashcam 20 dashboard camera.